Good. Hello. Governor Rockefeller, Mr. President. Hello. How nice to talk to you. Having a thing on my mind except to wish happy and you on behalf of Pat me a very Merry Christmas. Aren't you the most thoughtful person? Are you home, or I hope? Or you know where we are? Not Albany. We're at our little Camp David. Aha. Uh -huh. Camp in the woods. And we've just finished, and Nelson cooked the hamburgers. And great. Ha -ha. We've had the most wonderful time, just the four of us here together. Isn't that great? Happy sends her love, and the well, boys do yeah. too. Yeah, he cooked the hamburgers. Nelson cooked the hamburgers, and he just, this little Nelson. Yeah, I know, I know. He said he wished you a Merry Christmas. He just said it. Yeah, yeah. Let me get, let me, uh, uh, oh, before I get him on the phone, though, let me say one word. Uh, you, do you do something? Uh, Henry's a bit depressed because of the, and he shouldn't be because we're doing very well in foreign policy, actually. But he's depressed because he's taken a few be belts about the India-Pakistan thing, which had to come out the way it did. I, I think that you, if you would, because he has, you know, such calm as you, just sort of give him a ring and say, now, Henry, uh, wish him a Merry Christmas and say, no. Tell him to pay no attention to this nitpicking by people about uh, how we handled it. That if you feel this way, and that say that, uh, and say that, because as you know, Nelson, uh, that we do have the little boys at state uh, sort of gloating over anything they think doesn't come out well. Well, hell, India, Pakistan, there's no way it's ever going to come out. And thank God we didn't get involved in the war. That's right, and then thank God they didn't take over the all. And thank God we saved West Pakistan, which we did. No. So if you if you would do that, I think it'd be good for the cause. He'll be in New York. Uh, about two, or three, about three or four hours from now. He will. He's coming up to the city, uh, or, or, well, the White. Just, just call the White House operator. I'll call the White House. And yeah, see it if I can get him right now. Would be helpful. Well, you're so nice right. to do this, and I just think that as far as the people are concerned in New York State, you've never been in a stronger position. Well, we. It really looks good. We hope so. We, uh, we're having our troubles, as you know, inter interesting enough now with the far right, but. Uh, We have some uh, tough things ahead. We've got to, we've got to ride out Vietnam, and we will. And we'll, we've got to get the China and Soviet thing across, and we will. But uh, in the meantime, uh, and keep the economy going. But uh, oh, incidentally, as you, on the plus side for, for your immediate purposes, as I told you before, we are going to get revenue sharing. You know now, it's a cent. I mean, when I say a cent, Wilbur told me that uh, he's going to get his bill through, it's going to be the first thing, and uh, uh, unless the Senate just totally uh, screws it up, uh, you're going to get it. Well, this so is that'll be a help. And I put this in my budget, $400 million for next year. Okay. When I'm trying to balance this budget, when we have a special session on Monday. All right, well, you can, if anybody from the press asks you, yeah. you're welcome to say that the President based on his conversations with Wilbur Mills and other leaders, believes that uh, gonna come. that we are, he, he, he confidently predicts we will have revenue sharing. Oh, my. Are you so, going to put it in your budget for next year? Uh, you revenue sharing? Money for it. Can't, uh, I just don't know right now what whether we have decided to put it in or have a contingency or whatever it is, but whatever, but either, uh, uh, because you see, it's moving so fast. We right. uh, have to make your budget until. So, uh, yeah, we don't. I we still got a couple of weeks left. Okay. But in any event, uh, we'll have the money. Don't worry about that. So that I, so that if they say, well, are you going to have the money in your budget? I'm going to say that provisions are made for it. You say provisions are made for it, and well, the main thing is we're going to ask for it. Okay. Uh, in any event, uh, and uh, we're going to put the full weight of the administration behind the effort to get it passed by the Congress next year. Well, okay. most thoughtful thing. Well, anyway, have a I love to pass good Christmas and all of the, uh, the kids <laughs> and all of your children. Right, okay. And thanks so much for your thoughts. Bye. Call Henry. You, I appreciate that. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Laura.